Welcome to the California Basic Educational Data System CBEDS training. This training is intended for local educational agencies, LEAs, and independently reporting charter IRC schools that are responsible for completing and submitting school and district level CBEDS data to the California Department of Education, CDE, through the CBEDS Online Reporting Application, ORA. For the purposes of this presentation, an LEA is defined as a school district, county office of education, California Education Authority, state special school, state board of education charter, or statewide benefit charter. Contact information for CBEDS related inquiries is displayed. General inquiries and questions about CBEDS Aura shall be directed to the CBEDS office email at cbeds at cde.ca.gov. Please do not hesitate to contact us with questions or suggestions. Questions regarding a specific subject area shall be directed to the subject matter expert for that subject. For classified staff, teacher hires, and educational calendar, contact Lisa Young by email at cbeds at cde.ca.gov. For kindergarten program type, email Benjamin Allen at b-a-l-l-e-n at cde.ca.gov. For work visa applications, email Aaron Kepke at e k o e p k e at cde.ca.gov. For home to school transportation, email Andrew Peters at htsrp at cde.ca.gov. And for district of choice, email Katherine Morrissey at d i s t r i c t O F C H O I C E at C D E dot C A dot G O V. This training consists of an overview of seabeds, which includes a description of seabeds and the forms and data that are collected, a summary of the purpose and uses of seabeds data, a description of seabeds coordinator's responsibilities, information on available resources a description of the data collection, verification, submission, and certification process, and significant dates. This training also provides detailed instructions on how to accurately report data for the three CBEDS forms. The County District Information Form, CDIF, the School Information Form, SIF, and the District of Choice Supplemental, DOCS. This training also provides an overview of CBEDS Aura, which highlights various features of Aura, provides instructions for key entering, editing, importing, and exporting data, discusses the available reports with Aura, and provides instructions for submitting data. We will begin this training by providing an overview of the CBEDS data collection process. CBEDS is an annual statewide data collection of aggregate level school, student, and staff data. CBEDS data are reported through an online reporting application referred to as CBEDS Aura. Data are collected on the following three forms, which will be covered in detail on the next slide. The County District Information Form, CDIF, is a county district level form that collects data on the full-time equivalent, FTE, of classified staff working at the County District Office the estimated FTE of teachers the county office district plans to hire, and information on work visa applications that the county office district applied for on behalf of potential employees and home to school transportation data. CDIF is collected for each county office of education and district office. The school information form, SIF, is a school level form that collects data on the FTE of classified staff working at each school, the type of kindergarten program the school operates, the type of educational calendar the school operates on, information on work visa application for charter schools, and the estimated FTE of teachers independently reporting charter schools, IRCs, plan to hire. SIF data is collected for every public kindergarten through grade 12, K-12 school, including charter schools. The District of Choice Supplemental, DOCS, 
is a district level form that collects data on district of choice transfer request, transfer students receiving transportation services by race, ethnicity, and gender, and transfer students receiving transportation services by program participation. DOCS data is only completed by districts participating in the district of choice DOC program. CBED's data is administered to meet federal and state reporting mandates and to aid in program policy and decision making. Federal mandates require the state to provide data on classified staff and estimated teacher hires. State mandates require the CDE to provide information on H-1B work visa applications, information about students participating in the District of Choice program, information on the types of kindergarten programs offered by schools, and the home to school transportation. Educational calendar is collected to assist with program and policy decision making. CBED's data is used to calculate teacher shortage based on the estimated teacher hire data, to conduct program analysis on kindergarten programs, to assist with educational calendar program and policy decision making, to aid with cohort calculations using school start and end dates, to assist school districts, transportation agencies, and school transportation operators in providing the safest and most efficient transportation services for their passengers. Once the CBEDS data collection is complete, data are made available to the general public through the following CDE web pages. DataQuest, which is a dynamic system that provides reports from California's schools and districts. DataQuest web address is https semicolon backslash backslash dq.cde.ca.gov slash DataQuest slash. Student and School Data Files page, which contains downloadable CBEDS data files, the student and school data files web address is https semicolon slash slash www.cde.ca.gov slash ds slash sd slash sd slash. Staff data files page, which contains downloadable data files for CBEDS classified staff data. The staff data files web address is https semicolon slash slash www.cde.ca.gov slash ds slash sd slash df slash. Every LEA and IRC is asked to assign a CBEDS coordinator who will be responsible for ensuring that all CBEDS data for the LEA and IRC are collected and submitted to the CDE. In order to fulfill their CBEDS reporting responsibilities, CBEDS coordinators shall be aware of the CBEDS data reporting requirements, including changes to the data collection, and be prepared to report the required elements. Compile the data for your LEA or IRC. District and County Office Coordinators shall compile or obtain data from all the schools in their LEA, including charter schools not reporting independently of their LEA. They should also train and provide assistance to school staff regarding the collection and reporting of data for their schools, verify the accuracy of the reported data prior to certification, LEA shall review the data being reported for each school and should take advantage of the summary and comparison reports that are available within CBEDS Aura. These reports may be shared with appropriate district and school staff to assist with the verification of the data. Run the errors and warnings report and resolve all errors and research and fix warnings as necessary. Submit your LEAs or IRC CBEDS data to the CDE. LEA shall ensure all data are included in their data submission, including data for charter schools not reporting independently of their LEA. Charter schools electing to submit data to the CDE independent of their authorizing LEA shall be responsible for ensuring their data submission is complete and accurate. Charter schools wishing to report their data independently of their LEA may elect to do so by submitting a CalPADS and CBEDS Aura Charter School Reporting Status Change Form to the CDE by the end of June or upon establishment of the charter school. If a form is not submitted by the June 30 deadline, 
the reporting status from the previous year will carry over to the next year. Should changes need to be made to certified data, the CBEDS coordinator shall submit necessary changes to the CDE within the CBEDS amendment window. The following resources are available to CBEDS coordinators to aid in the collection and submission of CBEDS data. The CBEDS webpage, which contains the information you will need to complete the CBEDS data submission, including the administrative manual, frequently asked questions, file import specifications, the quick guide, forms, training, correspondence, policies and guidelines, and more. CBEDS Aura, which is the online application used by CBEDS coordinators to submit CBEDS aggregate data to the CDE. Use of the CBEDS Aura is required by all LEAs and IRCs, and a CDE-issued username and password are needed to access the application and submit data. CBEDS Aura also contains a list of the schools in your LEA for which you are required to submit CBEDS data as well as the ability to view and update coordinator contact information. Both of these options are available from the main menu within CBEDS Aura. We'd like to take a moment to highlight the key resources that CBEDS coordinators will need to utilize in order to successfully complete their CBEDS reporting requirements. These key resources include the CBEDS Administrative Manual and the list of expected schools. The CBEDS Administrative Manual is an instruction booklet that includes information on the following contacts and resources, when data are collected, what data are collected, who provides the data, purpose and use of data, changes to the data collection, the data collection and submission process, and the glossary and instructions. The administrative manual is available from the web page listed. The other key resource CBEDS coordinators will need is the list of expected schools. The list of expected schools is a list of the schools in your LEA from which the CDE expects to receive data. It also identifies which charter schools are reporting independently of their authorizer. The list of expected schools is available online through CBEDS Aura. It is very important that you review the accuracy of this list prior to submitting your CBEDS data to the CDE as data submissions may be prevented if you do not have data for all of the schools on the list. You will also be prevented from submitting data for new schools not appearing on the list, so it is important to resolve any discrepancies with the list prior to reporting your data. If you find discrepancies with the list, we ask that you work with your LEA's County District School CDS coordinator to submit changes or for assistance with the following school closures, school name changes, grade span changes, school type changes, opening a new school. If you have a school with no enrollment on Information Day, use the list of expected schools to notify the CDE of a temporarily non-operational school by following these steps. Contact your LEA's California Longitudinal Pupil Achievement Data System CalPADS Administrator to confirm that no student enrollments were reported on the CalPADS ODS Report 1.1 on Information Day. Indicate the non-operational effective date, provide a brief reason for not operating on the list of expected schools. Examples of reasons that schools are temporarily non-operational include no enrollment on information day, lack of funding, school closed for construction, obtain the superintendent's signature, email the list to cbeds at cde.ca.gov. It is very important to resolve all discrepancies with the list of expected schools prior to reporting or submitting data. Failure to resolve discrepancies with the list of expected schools may result in errors in your data submission or prevent or delay your ability to submit your data. CBEDS requires LEAs to collect and report data for current year as well as for the prior year and future projections. Current year data are to be collected as of Information Day, October 2, 2024. If your LEA is not in session or is off track on Information Day, at the discretion of the superintendent, data may be collected on another date in October. It is recommended that you choose a day close to Information Day. If data are to reflect a year other than the current school year, reporting periods will be specified. In order to meet the reporting deadline at the end of October, data shall be collected from all schools on the list of expected schools in mid-October. 
This includes your charter schools, unless the charter schools are reporting independently of the LEA. Our IRCs are to submit data directly to the CDE. CBED's coordinators are responsible for ensuring that their data submission is complete and that data have been included for each school on the list of expected schools, including charter schools not submitting independent of their authorizing LEA. If a school has closed or is temporarily non-operational, ensure data have not been reported for those schools. The CBEDS coordinator shall also verify the data for accuracy by taking the following steps prior to submission and certification. Review the data in CBEDS Aura, especially if data were imported. Review the errors and warnings report to resolve any errors and warnings. All errors must be resolved prior to submission. Warnings should be checked and verified for accuracy. Print and review school and district summary and comparison reports for accuracy with appropriate LEA staff. Various reports are available in CBEDS Aura to assist with your data review. CBEDS data is due to the CDE on or before October 31, 2024. Data is to be submitted electronically via CBEDS Aura. Once all data has been entered and or imported into CBEDS Aura, LEAs must go through the process of submitting and certifying their data. To submit data via CBEDS Aura, select the Certified Data option from the main menu. Then click on the Certify Submission button to begin the certification process. At this point, the system will go through a final check to validate the data. Once the check is complete, a report will be displayed indicating any errors and or warnings. As mentioned before, warnings must be verified and all errors must be fixed prior to data submission and certification. If no errors are detected in your data and the information on the page is accurate, click on the Certify button to submit your data. Once your data has been successfully submitted, you will receive a certification receipt with a date and timestamp, which can be printed for your records. The certification receipt is also available from the reports menu in CBEDS Aura once you have submitted your data. Please do not submit data to the CDE via paper forms. Once data are submitted by LEAs, CDE staff begins processing the data to identify missing or incomplete data submissions. CDE staff will contact CBEDS coordinators to ensure data are submitted in a timely manner and to resolve any issues identified with their data submission. Once all data have been received statewide, CDE staff analyzes the data for trends and consistency and contacts select LEAs for verification prior to certifying the data statewide. Once all errors and anomalies are corrected and verified, the data are certified statewide and posted via the CDE Data and Statistics webpage. This usually occurs in spring. Changes cannot be made to CBEDS data after the statewide certification, which usually occurs in December. The following are significant dates for CBEDS. CBEDS coordinators receive data collection information in August. CBEDS training is made available online in September. Information day is October 2nd. On October 15th, District of Choice data are due to the CDE for districts participating in the District of Choice program. CBEDS data are due to the CDE on or before October 31st. On November 1st, the CDE will notify LEA superintendents and independently reporting charter school administrators if CBEDS data is not received by the deadline. The CBED cycle ends and data is certified statewide on December 15th. This completes the CBEDS overview portion of this presentation. Next, we will cover the instructions for completing the CBEDS forms, starting with the County District Information Form, CDIF. The CDIF shall be completed by county offices, district offices, the California Education Authority, State Board of Education Agencies, Statewide Benefit Charter Agencies, and State Special Schools. Independently reporting charter schools do not complete a CDIF. Classified staff are employees of the county or district not requiring certification qualifications. 
An exception to this is non-certificated administrators at the level of assistant, deputy, or associate superintendent or higher. These staff are not to be included in the count of classified staff. Report the full-time equivalent, FTE, of classified staff positions assigned to the district office or county office of education as of information day. Report classified staff data by gender, type of position, i.e. paraprofessional, office clerical, or other classified, and by racial, ethnic designation. Note, single school districts are to report all classified staff on the SIF, not on the CDIF. When reporting classified staff, report FTE counts to two decimal places. For example, full-time would be reported as 1.00 FTE, two-thirds time would be reported as 0.67 FTE, and half-time would be reported as 0.50 FTE. For classified staff working in more than one position, report the FTE of each position. For example, if a full-time employee works half-time as a paraprofessional and half-time as other classified, Report each position as .50 FTE. For classified staff working at more than one location, report the FTE at each site. For example, if a half-time employee is assigned to both the district office and a school site, report .25 FTE at each location. Report the projected or estimated FTE of teaching positions you plan to fill for the following school year. Report data to one decimal place. Only include full-time equivalent positions that are new or vacated. Do not include staff you plan to re-employ in the same position the following year. Only include classroom teaching and specialist positions. In other specializations, do not include administrative positions, pupil services positions, classified positions. Report data for all schools in your district except any charter schools that report their data independent of your district. IRCs are to report their estimated teacher hires on the school information form, Section E. H-1B work visas are visas employers apply for when seeking to hire non-immigrant aliens as workers in specialty occupations. New legislation requires LEAs to report the number of H-1B work visas applied for on behalf of potential LEA in school employees and the number of those applications that were granted. LEAs are not to include visa application data from their charter schools on the CDIF. This includes districts with all charter schools, State Board of Education, and statewide benefit charter agencies. Visa data for charter schools are to be reported on the charter school's SIF. Report home to school transportation data for all students utilizing transportation. General transportation information includes number of days, miles, routes, and seat belt equipped buses. Types of fuel sources used, selecting all that apply. Report counts of ridership information, which includes daily riders and socioeconomically disadvantaged riders. Ridership demographics is a breakdown of race ethnicity counts. We have completed the instructions for the CDIF portion of this presentation. Next, we will provide instructions for completing the SIF, which shall be completed for each school. Classified staff are employees of the school not requiring certification qualification. An exception to this is non-certificated administrators at the level of assistant, deputy, or associate superintendent or higher. These staff are not to be included in the count of classified staff. Report the FTE of classified staff positions assigned to a specific school as of information day. Report classified staff by gender, type of position, for example, paraprofessional, office clerical, or other classified, and by racial ethnic designation. Single school districts are to report all staff on the SIF not the CDIF. When reporting classified staff, report FTE counts to two decimal places. For example, full-time will be reported as 1.00 FTE, three-fifths time would be reported as 0.60 FTE, and a quarter time would be reported as 0.25 FTE. For classified staff working in more than one position, report the FTE of each position. 
For example, if a full-time staff member works half-time as a paraprofessional and half-time as other classified, report each position as .50 FTE. For classified staff working at more than one location, report the FTE at each site. For example, if an other classified staff position is considered half-time and he or she is assigned to two schools, report .25 FTE at each school. This section collects data on the kindergarten and transitional kindergarten TK program type offered by each school. Data in this section are required to be reported for every school in the district regardless of whether or not the school serves kindergarten students. When reporting data in this section, report the type of kindergarten program and transitional kindergarten program the school offers by selecting one of the available program types. Program type options include full day, part day, both, or none. While the maximum school day in kindergarten is four hours, schools that have adopted an early primary program extended day kindergarten are allowed to exceed four hours and may offer a full day program. Only charter schools are to report work visa application data on the SIF in Section C. The reporting requirements for this section is similar to those reported by the district on the county district information form in Section C. H-1B work visas are visas employers apply for when seeking to hire non-immigrant aliens as workers in specialty occupations. New legislation requires LEAs to report the number of H-1B work visas applied for on behalf of potential charter school employees and the number of those applications that were granted. This section collects data on the type of calendar in which the school operates as well as the school start and end date for the school year. Report the type of calendar on which the school operates by selecting the appropriate calendar type or types. For example, traditional, single track, or multi-track. If the school does not operate a year-round calendar, only select traditional. If the school offers both year-round and traditional calendars, select traditional. If the school operates on a year-round calendar, select either single track or multi-track. Report the school's start and end date for the school year. The start date should represent the first day of instruction and the end date should represent the last day of school. For schools operating on a multi-track calendar, the start date should represent the first day of school for the earliest track and the end date should represent the last day of school for the latest track. IRCs are to report estimated teacher hires on the SIF in Section E. The reporting requirements for this section is similar to those reported by the district on the County District Information Form in Section B. Please refer to the CDIF slide 23 for details on reporting these data. We have completed the instructions for the SIF portion of this presentation. Next, we will provide instructions for completing the DOCS, which shall only be completed by school districts whose governing body elected to operate as a DOC and accept transfer students from one or more districts of residence. This section collects information on district of choice transfer requests that were received and processed for the current school year. All districts participating in the district of choice program must complete this section. Districts participating in the district of choice program are required to report the number of transfer requests that were granted, withdrawn, or denied. If any transfer requests were denied, the reasons for the denial must also be reported by specifying all of the reasons for denial that apply. Other types of transfer requests such as school choice or open enrollment are not to be included in these transfer request counts. Sections B and C of the DOCS only needs to be completed if the district participating in the District of Choice program provides transportation services to District of Choice transfer students. If this is the case, the district participating in the District of Choice program will need to complete sections B and C of the DOCS for each district of residence for which the district receives District of Choice transfer students. For each district of residence, report the number of transfer students who receive transportation services by race, ethnicity, and gender. As we mentioned, Section C of the DOCS only needs to be completed if the district participating in the District of Choice program provides transportation services to District of Choice transfer students. For each district of residence, report the number of transfer students who received transportation services and participated in the following programs. Free or reduced price meals, English learners, students with disabilities, 
or socioeconomically disadvantaged. Students are to be reported in each program they participate. Counts may be duplicated across programs. For example, a socioeconomically disadvantaged English learner student with disabilities who is eligible for free or reduced price meals would be reported in each of the programs. This completes the instructional portion of our training for completing each of the CBEDS forms. Next, we will provide a brief overview of CBEDS Aura, which is the web application used by LEAs to submit CBEDS data to the CDE. CBEDS Aura includes the following features. A list of expected schools, which is a list of the schools in the LEA that are expected to report CBEDS data. This list is also used to notify the CDE of temporary school closures or non-operational schools. The ability to view or update district and or IRC CBEDS coordinator contact information. It is important to keep contact information up to date to ensure receipt of CBEDS correspondence. The ability to key enter or update CBEDS data. The ability to import and or export data. Users with access to data files containing CBEDS data either extracted from their student information Human resources or other systems may upload these files in order to bypass key entry. Once data are entered into CBEDS Aura, users may also export the data to obtain a file of the data contained in CBEDS Aura. The ability to view or print various reports compiled from reported data. Reports are available for data quality and verification purposes and include reports of completed forms, district level summaries, and year-to-year -year comparisons. Lastly, CBEDS Aura provides the ability for LEAs to electronically certify and submit their CBEDS data to the CDE. Note, districts participating in the DOC program will have an additional menu option which will provide access to DOCS reporting features. These features will be discussed later in this training. There are two options available for entering CDIF and SIF data into the CBEDS Aura. The first option is manual key entry, which is used by most districts and IRCs. The second option is to import data, which bypasses key entry and loads a file containing CDIF and SIF data. The importing option will be discussed later in this training. Right now, we will provide instructions for key entering editing CDIF SIF data. Select the edit option from the main menu. Select a school or the district office CDIF from the list of schools in the drop down menu and click on the select button. Selecting a school will load the SIF for the school. Selecting the district office CDIF will load the CDIF for the district county office. Once the system loads the school or district office information, a screen showing the available sections for you to edit will be displayed. Select the section you wish to enter data for and click on the Edit Update Data Below button. Click on the Save button to save and view your keyed entry, or you may click the Cancel button to exit without saving. Note, if an error is detected in the data that have been entered or keyed into the system, a note with an explanation of the error will be displayed at the top of the screen. You will not be allowed to save and exit if errors have been detected. You must fix the errors prior to saving and exiting, or you may select the Cancel button to exit without saving. To select another site to edit, Click on the Select a School or District Office button at the top of the screen and repeat the appropriate steps above. Note: If there is a school in the drop-down list that is not in operation this year, notify the CDE per instructions on the list of expected schools before entering data for the school. This slide shows a screenshot of the edit screen for reporting classified staff on the SIF through CBEDS Aura. This screen will be the default screen for most LEAs when they choose to edit data for a school. From this screen, you may choose to enter data for any of the sections by clicking on the appropriate section letter and selecting the Edit Update Data Below button. You may also choose to select another site to edit by clicking on the Select a School or District Office button. Or you may choose one of the navigational links on the page to return to the main menu or one of the other main pages within the application. As previously mentioned, importing data files is one option available to LEAs for entering CDIF and SIF data into CBEDS Aura. 
The import option is available to LEAs that have their data available electronically, for example, from a student information system who wish to bypass the key entry option and upload data files into the application. Data files must be formatted to meet the CBEDS Aura import file specifications, which are available through CBEDS Aura from the export screen or from the CBEDS webpage. The import option is located from the advanced features option from the main menu. Files are checked against format and validation checks prior to upload. You will need to review the import file submissions report to see if your file passed the format and validation checks. This report is displayed after attempting to import your file and is available from the reports menu. If your file fails, it will not be uploaded. You will need to review the provided format, checker report, fix the identified errors, and re-import a file. If your file passes, it will be uploaded and data will be viewable through the edit screens and reports. If importing data, you must still go through the process of certifying your data. In order to obtain a file of data in CBEDS Aura, users have the option to export a data file. The export option is located from the Advanced Features option from the main menu and may be used to back up or save your data to a text file. This slide shows screenshots of the import and export screens within CBEDS Aura. To import a file, navigate to the import screen by selecting Advanced Features from the main menu and select the Import option. From the Import screen, select the Browse button. Select the file you wish to import, then select the Upload File button. Only text files that have been formatted to meet the CBEDS Aura file import specifications will be uploaded. Please do not attempt to upload a Word, Excel, PDF, or other non-text file type. To export a file, navigate to the Export screen by selecting Advanced Features from the main menu and selecting the Export option. From the Export screen, select the Export Data button and save the file to your computer. If your LEA has IRCs, you will have the option of including or excluding these schools from your data file. For your convenience, the Export screen contains a link to the CBEDS or a file import specifications. This slide contains the reports available from CBEDS Aura. Depending on your LE type, for example, independently reporting charter schools, fewer reports may be available to you. Current year forms include links to blank CDIF, SIF forms, completed CDIF, SIF forms display data that have been entered into CBEDS Aura. Prior year reports display data that were reported last year. Summary reports consist of a district summary, which is a summary of all the data entered on each of the SIFs, a summary of current and last year report, which summarizes the data reported at the district level for each section and includes current and prior year totals, section by school summary reports, which list each school and section totals. Other reports include the error and warnings report, which displays all the errors and warnings that were triggered for your LEA, an explanation of errors and warnings, which explain each error and warning and why they are triggered, an import file submissions report, which only pertains to LEAs importing CDIF, SIF data. This report provides the status of import files and whether or not they pass the format and validation checks, a certification receipt, which is only available after you have successfully certified your data. This report displays the date and time of your submission. As previously mentioned, districts participating in the District of Choice program will have a separate menu item in CBEDS Aura for accessing the District of Choice reporting features. These features include the ability to key enter or update District of Choice transfer request and transportation data, the ability to view or print various reports compiled from reported data. Reports are available for data quality and verification purposes and include a summary report, which displays the transfer request data as well as summarizes all of the reported transportation data. A completed report, which displays the data reported for each section and each district of residence. The report also allows users to select which districts of residence to include on the report. An explanation of errors and warnings which explains each error and warning and why they are triggered. An import file submission report which provides the status of import files and whether or not they passed the format and validation checks. Lastly, 
Seabeds Aura provides the ability for users to import and or export data. Users with access to data files containing Seabeds data, either extracted from their student information, human resources, or other systems, may upload these files in order to bypass key entry. Once data is entered into Seabeds Aura, users may also export the data to obtain a file of the data contained in Seabeds Aura.